everybody welcome back to another video this is Jim and Crystal with Serpentine Dream uh, we was actually just kind of walking by the incubator and saw this little nose poking out got actually several cuts in it he's been hacking this egg up pretty good um, this is actually the one clutch I had a slug and then a few of the eggs got a little moldy um, especially this one here I put some powder on it just to see if it would still turn out okay with some powder on it or not or it may just be a bad egg altogether. We'll see. Um, but this clutch here was a GHI uh, male to a female hat red at Xanthic. So it's going to be a really difficult clutch to tell, especially in the egg, what they are. Um, these will probably almost have to wait until uh, shed. And that might still be somewhat of a guessing game for a little bit. So I guess we'll go ahead and start with this guy here poking his little nose out. Or girl. Don't know. We'll see. But yeah, this one was uh was waiting to come out. Uh, look at you. Like I said, a lot of these are gonna be kind of difficult to tell. Um, I'm thinking this might be a GHI. Like I said, this question will be really, really difficult to tell. So, we will see. But, seems to have made it through the incubation process, so. Here we got some of these other little eggs. Looks like I got a vein pretty good there. Don't worry, it's just the egg, the uh, vein of the egg. Uh, this one here looks like a hit red. Like it's still got a little bit of absorbing to do, but it's definitely in there kicking around. So I won't disturb it too much. It hasn't quite absorbed all of its uh, yolk and stuff yet. So we'll move on to the next one here. You know, like I was saying, this is uh, it's one of these clutches where a lot of these are going to be kind of dark and backed out pattern so well hello you're kind of lighter here's your first breath all right it's like hey leave me alone I just want to see the world this might be, I don't know, might be the double. It'll be hard to tell until it comes out, but it could be the double. And please, if uh, any other fellow breeders out there are watching, go ahead and uh, throw some comments up. Let me know what you think about them and if you have any ideas of what they may be. I know they're difficult to tell, especially when they're still in the eggs. Can't get a full look at them, so. How you doing? That might just be a little normal. Pretty sure that's just a little normal, baby. Of course, when you're cutting them up, you want every egg to be something besides a normal, even though normals are adorable and cute as well. Alright, so what we got here.
How you doing? That might be another. I think that might be a head red. We'll see when they come out. You got to be pretty good on that one. It happens. And this one had a little bit of mold going down here at the bottom. I'll find a little spot here. There we go. This one feeling nice and plump. Everyone's having a good season. I know some people are. I've been seeing some videos. So. A lot of black in there. Might be another head red. And now we'll see the one that uh, definitely wasn't going to make if I didn't put some powder on it. So I'm not expecting much, if anything, out of this. But rather than just throw it out, I figured I would let it go and, and see what would happen. There's nothing too gross in here. No, it looks like a little baby in there. Alright. That is pretty wild looking. I think that might be a double. We'll have to see when it uh, comes running out of there, but just comes to show you, uh, don't give up on the ugly eggs. Like I said, this one's pretty nasty. If I hadn't put some powder on it, I would have just kept molding. So, I mean, it looks like it's formed. So, besides completely butchering these uh, veins on some of these eggs, besides that, wasn't too bad. We'll know more once they come running out, once uh, all of them decide to venture out of their eggs, but. And like the last video, I'll put a disclaimer: the blood is not from the, uh, not from the babies. It's just from the veins and the eggs. So, all right, we'll catch you on the next video. Uh, please like and subscribe if you uh, haven't already. And uh, like I said, hope everyone's having a good season. Thanks for watching.